Welcome everybody. Welcome. What's happening? What's happening? Welcome everybody. Turn that thing down and get ready for school. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Morning Coffee, the AM reality talk experience that is a revolution because it's a two-way communication between us, that chat room, and now now we've added Periscope and Meerkat, and we're attempting to juggle all that, so please work with us. But thank you for being there, Meerkat. Thank you all for being there. Thank you, Periscope, and thank you to our chat room regulars as Pac Stereo continues to grow. Remember, we are the experience that is the two extraterrestrial brothers in the hood <laughs> coming to you with the live broadcast because Victor Allen and I are in the process of expanding, continuing to build on our neo urban internet television network that we essentially run out of this place here in Los Angeles, California. Yes, sir. It may not be in the ghetto, but we can see the fence. Okay, oh, I gotta, okay, now, and as part of this thing, I have to make some adjustments. You know, Vic, it's that same old thing. I come out here, I have to switch the Wi-Fis too. Oh, you know what? Because our stuff cuts, cuts. So those of you who follow, it's this whole thing yeah, of it's cut, the same. cutoffs. It's the, well, you know what? We have multiple Wi-Fi networks here, right? Right, because we have Wi-Fi for guests. That's we have right, right. So secure Wi-Fi thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's yeah. okay. Hey, man, you know what? Uh, if I was tuning in right now, I want you guys to talk about the number one topic in the last 12 hours. The number one topic in the last 12 hours? Yeah. Drum roll, please. Do we have a drum roll, <laughs> air horn? <laughs> That's what I'm yeah. All I'm saying. Hey, there you go. I can't get it to stop. It won't stop. It won't stop. This is when I like it. This is when I like it. It won't stop. It's okay. I can't keep it. Okay. Well, that's what you get for working with sound effects. Okay. Right. You know, it's, it's right out front in your front door right now. The number one topic for us in here. Rain. There you go, man. You are the man. For us. This is, Duh. this is Christmas, isn't it? Duh. It is raining. It's, it's raining Christmas. here in Los Angeles. You know, in California, we have a flood. We're all switching up stuff. We're all like, you know, I, I feel guilty if I like, you know, run water to like wash my hands or something. I almost want to gather it to go water the garden. Right. Which is the mentality. I wish they had. We need a system where we can gather the water. Yeah. The, the water and the other water, what they call the gray water. Yeah, but you know what? The one, and use that. You know what? Let me say something. I saw a report. We even did better this last this last month. Sorry about that. We even did better this month. Well, I will say probably August, going up to thirty one percent as a topping point for conservation of water. So the pe the consumers are doing it. Ask corporate, are they doing it? Well, well you know, corporate. Yeah, yeah, corporate last gonna, time, last time do California had a drought, and we cut back on water. They raised the prices because they said there was less demand. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I'm telling you, there's crazy stuff that goes on. So, because you know, a lot of it's bullshit in politics. Right. But that's part of what we do here at Morning Coffee, everybody. We talk about today's bullshit and politics. And there's always bullshit. You know, I used to, I, I had a section called Good News, Bad News, and Other Shit. And now we have this new section on what we call what they call the news. So we talk about what they call the news, because it may or may not be the news to you. As part of the topic today, Vic, yeah. that when we get to it, my topic is actually going to be about the upcoming uh, elections. Uh, oh, you mean the local council seats, right? You're not yeah. talking about presidents, right? Yeah, no, I'm talking about the, the presidential election, <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, we're going to be re we're going to be looking what? at it with sort of a, let's just say, okay, wait a minute, with a different attitude. Let me just say this, okay. Because I want to know if you have an idea of a candidate. Do you all have an idea of a candidate, or do you mostly know who you cannot stand? Okay, now wait a minute. I, it's a trip today okay. to the politics. All right, I got or one for you? you. Okay. If I'm going to tune into a political conversation, are you going to give me something I don't know already, or are you just going to sit back and land base the next set? Shit, there's so much shit we don't know already. <laughs> That's right. And then what we think we know ain't true. <laughs> right. So it's all bullshit. That's part of why we're going to talk about it today, the politics. There goes the topic for the show 
It's all bullshit, right? It's all, and let me now some of the people already to the right. chat room. Mac McAllister, GNN Bureau Chief, is there signing in. Got to say hi to Mac. Also, a meerkat, August Sky. Thank you for saying hi. All the Periscope. You guys, I'm you know what? That. It's kind of a technical overload. August but, Sky, yeah. Hey, Mac, it. Mac, we trying, right? All of y'all. The whole thing is trying to coordinate this interactive experience because for the first time, media is two-way. That's the true revolution of internet television is right. that it's a two-way communication that I got to look at all this That's stuff right. and respond to you all. Got but you hey, all that is the beauty of this and that is why Pax Stereo TV is part of that. Hey, check out the monitor behind us. You can see where we got the things hooked up. Victor Allen is working over there. Three switches. I designed that machine. He's flying. All day, you guys. But All he day. is the pilot. Day, he flies it way better All than day. I do. Okay. <laughs> Three video switches over there. We got how many cameras do we have in here, Vic? Uh, seven, eight, seven. Seven, eight, seven. Eight, seven. I can't remember. We can't remember. remember. We got a lot of cameras. A lot of cameras in here. More cameras than people. And it's all about the Neil Urban Internet Television Network experience as we attempt to adjust to this technology and represent kind of a people's network to bring you information. So we, we evolve it and we take suggestions. We All take day. suggestions. All day. We don't, you know, okay. All right. So anyway, announcements for the day, Vic. Let me see. Where's my visual aids? Because I got to have my, my visual aids here. Okay. Today is Tuesday. And for those of you who don't know, Tuesday is the hot night at Pax Tale TV because it is our triple banger. That means tonight we go crazy with DJ shows, okay? 7 p.m., DJ Miko. You know how hot she is, all right? DJ Miko, and her theme for tonight is Lover's Lane. She's going to be spinning the, what we call the Quiet Storm pre-show. Quiet Storm pre-show from uh, 7 to 8 p.m. We call it musical foreplay. You got to yeah. come check it out. At 8 o'clock, we go live. That's when Mikkel joins Victor and I for the Quiet Storm. Old school jazz. I mix it up. I, you never know what I'm going to play. You never know what I'm going to play, but you could be there at 8 o'clock. Tonight, the theme is Single with Swagger. Embracing the thrill of the hunt. And what okay. kind of music goes with that shit? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. That's right. Single with Swagger. Embracing the thrill of the hunt. What music goes with that? We take requests. Be there tonight. That's at 8 p.m. till 10 p.m. Now, at 10 p.m., remember, it's a triple banger night. Yeah, at man. At 10 p.m., I, Victor, that's Victor's photo experience unique. He's got skits. He's doing photos. I get to make an animation. Vic, do we have a, any kind of a glimpse? I know it's supposed to be Miko's secret well, challenge since, tonight. Since... A lot of people are not really, you know, they don't really want to come on Night Victor because they got to get challenged by making love to the camera. It's always Miko's challenge. Okay, it's, it's always, always Miko's it's challenge. It's always Miko's challenge for no this. Matter, right. right. It's what is the challenge? And since I don't this is give a secret that a, challenge. Because I can't tell you and I can't tell them because they'll go tell Miko. Miko's so looking like she's in there now. What you doing, right. Miko? Get out so, there. Miko, get out. So, get out of there, Miko. She's already there. Miko's see, that's what I'm Par saying. Look at Miko's on Periscope. See, see, she thinks she's slick. What's happening, at PMC? Yeah. So Pittsburgh. That's it. Now, it may change up. You know why? What? Rain. Rain. Well, we're going to adapt rain. to rain. Rain. It's got me, man. As people don't know who watch this show, one of the wonderful things about being a, a small group of dedicated individuals is that we do special things for our staff. So I cook for them. And I burn, okay? So when you work with me, you start thinking about that food. You, I'm, I ain't lying. I'm not lying. I cook like people. I used to say I cook like people's mothers, but I cook better than most people's mother. Okay? I'm, I'm not bullshitting you. I cook. So, you know, uh, I feed my staff. So they start looking forward to getting over here to get some food. <laughs> I feed them. Up. That's jacked up. That's cold. I get all the notifications about Miko. So Miko's there, y'all. Okay. All right. So remember that tonight is Miko's secret channel. So that's at 10 to 10.30. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. All day, man. All okay. Day. Now, we also today, remember, on the Quiet Stone, we also have the new new sports and the hot picks. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. So now, but let's get to today's two news topic. Well, before I reflect on today's news topic. I want you to know I'm sitting here looking at my grocery list. And I realize it's wonderful with this new grocery delivery service. I don't know if you, see I, I don't I don't know if any of you have tried this, but Amazon's doing it out here in Los Angeles 
Vons, which is also pavilions, they're doing it. So we here at the at Pack Stereo, we get our groceries delivered. It costs about eight bucks. Okay, but you know, for the regular stuff, like last night, last night, like at midnight, we I realized not only did we not have any creamer and we drink coffee. And we drink coffee. So I put it in. So you guys got to try this stuff. See if you like it. Get See if you get that grocery delivery. People are loving it because you could go online in the middle of the night, change it up till 3 a.m., Vic. Yeah, I know. And get the good. groceries that day. Yeah. And we're already using Amazon's delivery service where you put in stuff sometimes in the morning. Yeah. And get it in the late afternoon. Yeah, and they so, said uh, the, the drivers last time said, you know, next time I come over here and give you guys all that wonderful service, you know, give me a muffin. You want some muffin? Yeah, you want some muffin. You got some good muffin. Say you want some muffin. Say, get, take care, brother. All right, all take right. Take care, brother. Uh, now, let's get to today's news topic. Da, 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 I should have, wait, let me see Where's if I have sound them. effects, man. Yeah, I was working. See, we have a new setup here. Yeah. I don't have all the sound. Yeah. Right, the DJ you. you got it, man. There you go. That's much yeah. better. That's much better. All right, I know. Yeah, it's the hair. It's the hair. All right. Thank you. All right, today's topic of the news, you guys, I was is because all they're talking about, besides the Syrian refugee crisis, which I talked about yesterday in very serious ways, and we don't need to revisit that today. But all this focus on the election, and I wanted to really poll you guys, how do you feel about the upcoming election? Is it a change that ain't going to come? Or is it SSDD, same shit, different day? Those, are, I think, are the two choices. Is it a change that ain't going to come, or is it SS? Because let me just tell you, I don't blame you if you're disappointed in the election. First of all, I'm not voting for Hillary. I don't care. It's the same old shit, different day. I'm not voting for Hillary. Forget it. No way. Bullshit. Will not do it. Same shit, different day. Not doing it. I want a woman president, but I want something different. We don't need Margaret Thatcher again. Okay, so no. Same shit, different day. Donald Trump, rich white bigot. That's new? Are you kidding? Okay, same shit, different day. That's not new, Donald. In fact, America has moved forward from that. But it shows you that they're still there because remember, the bigots of my day, a bunch of them are still alive. They're on the clock, though. They're on the clock. They don't have long. But the bigots of my day are still alive. All right, you can go wake them up. They're still alive, okay, and so they're there. So a lot of this stuff is not new. So I don't blame you if you're turned off by today's election. Just remember, I too say, it also represents a change that ain't going to come. And same shit, different day. Oh, okay, I got, and I got you on this one. Now, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. You know, I got a question. Mama told me. Always that question. We may not get the answers, but always ask. And that's a very good question. <laughs> that's a good question. That's a very good question. I may not know the answer, answer but, but I, I surely appreciate okay. the question. That's right. You have to learn. I'm, I'm a walking Google. Forget that. Anyway, here's the thing. Okay. Last president that you feel said. Oh, come on. It's a all change bullshit. is going to come. It was, you know what, delivered. the thing about Obama, Last president. I can't talk, let me tell you, and I, please, okay, before y'all jump all down my throat, I got to get that shit from my family. My mother has an Obama shrine, okay? My mother has, like, the Obama picture out with the candles and shit in front of it, okay? I'm just, telling you. Just wave it. If I go to a family <laughs> gathering and criticize Obama, my auntie's over there looking at me like, you know, so you know, being one of those leftists, one of those leftover leftists of the 60s, thank you, no applause please, one of those leftover leftists of the 60s, I was a little disappointed, okay, I was a little disappointed, but I cannot say I'm disappointed because my family will cuss me out, <laughs> okay, so That's this right. is very difficult, That's right. difficult uh, situation. <laughs> See, for, so there is no. It's all been bullshit presidents. No one. Forever. It's the, it's the joke. It's the illusion of choice. Go do some you review about the parties. The different. Do you know if you go look that the Democratic and the Republican Party usually agree on up to like 91, 2% of the budget? That all that bullshit they do in public is like over usually less than 10% of the budget? 
If you had a marriage and you agreed on 90% of the bills, right. you know, they would call that heaven. Right. Right. They call that the most wonderful marriage in the world. Right. So what I'm telling you is the illusion of okay. choice. There is no choice. They talk different shit, but they agree on the money. Okay. They all do the same money shit, and that's what's happening to you right now. Now, you're Big Papa. I'm, I'm son. I'm coming home from school. I'm, and I'm in the seventh grade, and I said, wow, we're about to learn some wonderful things about the presidents. Daddy, could you tell me how wonderful? Wait a minute. Now, see, I, <laughs> like other black I'm people, I need at least a little time to enjoy a black president. <laughs> but you don't get to have, like, Wait years. A Wait a minute. You get to have, you know, maybe months. You, if you're an old black person, you get to have years. But young black people, Wait a minute. months. So. Wait a minute. I, you just ignored your son. He's coming home to tell you, can you help me pick the most noteworthy president that did stuff for minorities? What are you going to say to your son? Obama ain't on that list. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. See, what's the legacy? Well, you're going to have to ask yourself, what did the black president do to help black people besides just be an image, which is important. I love that. The image of an African-American president, the true value of that can never be understated. And I don't want to play like I don't appreciate the impact of the value of just being able to see that face. Just like the value of having a woman president has value and, 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 and it affects people. It affects young folks. It makes them want to be better people. It makes them aspire to more. It makes them believers. So in that sense, a lot of the left to say it's pacification. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just saying. <laughs> a lot of the left to say it's pacification. But just assume it's not. You still have a bunch of inspired people who go out and do things and work, even though they may be victims of the system, ultimately. <laughs> it's still, I don't know the other way. I don't know the other way. I can tell you that when you look at these things, they're all dirty. Poor, and that's the story of poor, today. Poor son, gone out and starting to ride his big wheel. Son, <laughs> you need to tell your children just to know the truth about what the government is, so then they'll understand the Federal Reserve Bank. <laughs> You know, they understand things like that. That why they have no political clout. They'll start to understand that they never did. And then it was an illusion. You know, they got a movie. They got a movie out where a guy's talking. It's Robert Duvall's in it. And one guy's talking to him. It's an astronaut movie. I can't remember what it is. And when the guy walks up to him, and he's talking to him like he's an engineer. The kid is only like six, seven. And then father comes up and says, Frank, he's only seven. Because he's delivering the message. I know. So you have to understand. I, too, was a <laughs> young child saying. of a politically astute <laughs> parents. Right. And they drilled me they you sure know, did. on politics they and sure being did. aware. And then I also t attended a historically black, histor <laughs> historically black university, Howard University, the Mecca, which also influenced my mentality and my mind because we learned to examine research and develop opinions on topics so when you do that then you find you're a little pissed off usually when you mm. take time to actually research something that's why by the way let's give a hand let me with my sound effect let's give a hand out there to the young folks out there because you know the old folks they do a shit oh that's just wrong young folks no, it's true. people are the 30s Yo, we love you. All us old folks are home just talking. They ain't doing a goddamn thing. Not that. Not that. They're, they're Not cutting that. their own path. They're I'm saying it. I'm loving it. Yeah. You know, day, Black Lives Matter, these organizations yeah. out there being orchestrated and designed by young folks who are taken to the streets, they're, they're revitalizing my interest in political activity because they're coming with the consciousness and the energy that an old mofo like me need. So old mofos like me right. need young people to come with the consciousness and the energy. And then you inspire us to get busy again because we were there during the 60s, so we know the history. We just burn out. Tired. Tired. That's what's happening. They're tired. It's all that child support. It's <laughs> <laughs> all that alimony. They're tired. <laughs> they can't do nothing today. So that's why we need the young folks as part of that. Yeah. So then again, that's, that's what it's been today, our commentary. Mm -hmm. As it is, we're talking about the upcoming election and your feelings on the election. Is it the same shit, different day? Or is it a change that ain't gonna come? All right. <laughs> yeah. I know. Thank you. Thank you. All right.
Ah, don't get it too sided. Too big. Okay. I understand. I understand. Got to give them hope. Well, here's some hope. Every week, I get the privilege of doing a slideshow animation that features the photography, the videography, the work of Victor Allen, my partner in crime, the one who's over there working three video switches right now. Well, I want you to take a look because there'll be a new one tonight because tonight we'll be doing photo shoots. And so every week there's a new uh, photo slideshow animation. Very often the focus of that eye is our own beautiful hot chocolate co-host, Miko Williams. Take a look at the latest. And we'll be right back. Here you go, Vic. Go. Here it comes. Turn that thing down and get ready for school. The work of Victor Allen. Yeah. All that music, that's Love Shadow. Crazy Love. You can get it free. Go to ccmixture.org or dig.ccmixture.org. Terrestrial brothers in the hood over here in Los Angeles. Like we said, we're not in the ghetto, but we can see the fence. I was jumping the fence again. Yeah. All right. Got to remind you what we are. Got to acknowledge that chat room. We got PMC, our brother from another mother from Pittsburgh. So glad to be back. PMC, when is morning coffee coming back? And I told him we had to do a new format, right? It wasn't that we didn't want to do morning coffee, you guys. It's just that there's only so much a brother can do. 
And I got new shows to work on. Y'all want some new shows? I need some time. We got shows with drones, clones, and tones. So I had to have some time. So that's why we have the new format with Morning Coffee. We do a one-hour show. At one time, it was over three hours. We would sometimes yeah. do a show. And that's a lot of Sometimes posts. over three hours. That Can you believe like, that, you guys? That Ask a Mac. We, did a, we would routinely go two hours. Then we cut it to two hours. And now we're doing about an hour show. Yeah. So, again, that's the whole evolution of morning coffee. And the real reason, again, is to allow us time to do this. It's only Vic and I, you know, doing the development stuff. We got our hosts and our guests and our partners in crime on that level. We, we love to have them, folks like Mika Williams. But when it comes to the day-to-day -day operation, like who, who does all the computer updates around here? It's Victor and I. Do all the computer updates, the updates on the technical. So it's two brothers working hard. That, but it's also to let you know you can do it. Yep. You can do it. Definitely. Now, one of the things we got to take care of this morning, because uh, things happen, and Vic and I are going through a whole new thing of shifting our on-air broadcast materials, our visual aids. You know, we have visual aids. Mm -hmm. And so we've been switching over so that he can do them from wherever he is. He does, we'd use WordPress. So it ain't set up. So I'm about to set it up right now. Vic can even show you what I'm doing. Vic, yep. it's your menus, right? Yeah. So take a look right here, right? So yep. that's your hot picks, and that's your new new sports from the day, right? Right. I'm going to say add to menu. Got you. Okay, then I'm going to come down to the bottom of the menu where we added them, mm -hmm. and I'm going to drag them up. Those are his hot picks. I'll drag hot picks up all the way to where it goes right here. Hot picks. Mm -hmm. We're going to go up to the broadcast. See, we're going to go up to there. It is. This is our broadcast. See, this is our broadcast stuff. So we're going to put the hot picks there. There's your hot picks, right? Got it. I'm going to go down and get your new new sports and drag that up. See? So some of y'all can see. I'm fixing this on the air because we fix a bunch of shit on the air. This internet television. Who are we going to call? The tech team? Tech team! Yes! <laughs> you, did you call me? <laughs> it's me, the tech team, man. <laughs> okay, so now then, so let's take your other ones out, okay? Now they're being archived? Well, because you're not using them, this last week's. Got you. So this is the menu. Right. Bar, so we can get to it. So that's, that, right. that's why it's a little different. That's right. So there's three categories for this, we realized. I realized. I thought it was two. Well, yeah. Okay, so I got it like that. I got you like that. New New Sports. Okay, that looks kind of good. Oh, what can I say? Yeah, okay. And we can say save this. And then I think after we do that, we'll be ready. we ready to go. To use it on the air. So it timed it. We it, have to do this. That took two, two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes? Yeah. Too long! So if you actually did not include You gotta broadcast, speed it up! You could, pro you could probably do it in less than a minute. What kind of crap is this? And that is what we're going to start doing. We're going to say, hey, why not sit back and go through the process live on air? Well, because we use what right. they call desktop presenting. It's right. the, they used to use, right. like, what right. do they use? They teleprompters. Remember the we, uh, like yeah. the stuff with the weather guy? Yeah. So, Pac Stereo, we'd use desktop presenting. That means I have two desktops, and Victor gets to switch and show you guys. Yeah. Okay, That's so it. now let's see if we got the sports and the hot picks. Let's see. We go to broadcast materials. We do sports. There it is. Live web integration. Okay, That's it looks like we doing. got it there. We got it there. His phone call's coming. Not during the show. <laughs> Interrupted my meerkat. So we're trying to make what we call Thank you, meerkat. Lifestyle channels go live from your website. 